Whew. Excuse me, my phone looks kind of foggy. <laughs> my bad, excuse me. Hey, what's going on? Oh, pretty low. You're the first one in the room. This is great, guys. We're going to wait for everybody else to get on board um, as we start our first session. Uh, four campfire sessions. Um, let me wave to everybody, get everybody uh, on board here one by one. Um, obviously, for those of you don't who don't know about campfire sessions, uh, this is our first session uh, titled Pushing Forward in the Face of Uncertainty. Hello to you also, Prelo. Um, we are looking forward to kicking off an amazing conversation. I just want to also send out uh, my energy to those who are out there um, protesting and uh, going through uh, what is currently happening here in America. I have decided to possibly extend campfire sessions to a third special hour just to cover what is going on uh, out there. But as of right now, we will stick to the subject matter at hand and which was picked for the first session. Um, for those of you who don't know, everything will happen in the order. So uh, we'll be having uh, Lena from France come on first. We'll then have Alicia from Australia come on. We'll then be presenting Jacqueline and then Prelo. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get Geisha on due to the signal in Ethiopia, uh, but we will be interviewing him at a later date at a separate time. Uh, we'll first wait for everybody to get in. I think we're missing one person. So far, yes, we are missing uh, Lishi actually right now. So uh, thank you, Imani. I appreciate you coming through. Um, and let's continue to let this roll, guys. I don't have no music for today, unfortunately. Um, I thought that it would be best for me to do it outside to where there's a lot of light. Um, and I wanted to keep it that way. So, yeah. Nice and peaceful in nature. Um, so. <sighs> I am extremely tired. I know there's a couple of you that are extremely tired, too. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate that for sure. Um, we're going to give it at least maybe, like, let's try to wait um, two, two minutes, you know, two to three minutes to see what's going on. So is there anything that anybody... <laughs> That's cool that y'all talking back and forth. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember to drink water. Please hydrate yourself. Stay hydrated at all times. <laughs> that's so cool all right guys so um once again welcome to campfire sessions just for those of you who may be joining us a little bit late um we are here for the first session called pushing forward in the face of uncertainty um we're just waiting for more people to fill in uh bit by bit and uh we will be taking off from there so <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Omani, thank you, I appreciate that. That's why I wanted to do it outside. I didn't want to do it inside of my uh, my house. I thought doing it inside of my house was uh, it was a little bit too dark in there, even if I extended the curtains so, or turning the lights, and I didn't want uh, man-made lights to shine upon me as of right now. So, Hey, Al <laughs> hey Lishi, what's going on? It seems like everybody who is supposed to be speaking has officially joined. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to launch this and move forward. Uh, bit by bit so uh, without further ado I wanted to bring up Lena first um, Lena are you ready <laughs> hey, hey Jacqueline alright cool so let me see boom alright boom Hi. Hey. 
Sarah, how are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You wow, such a bright smile. Nice, nice, nice. Love it. Wow. Oh, wait, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, huh? I was trying on my computer, but then I don't know. It's not working. Oh well, phone. it's a little bit different on a computer. You might have to yeah. try it on the phone <laughs> first. Yeah. Um, yeah. Instagram is not really computer based. It's not the best thing. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing what you up to you know i wanted to run some of the questions by you that we have here um please explain to the audience who who you are you know what i'm saying <laughs> tell them a little bit about yourself uh so hi guys my name is lena uh i've known troy a long time we met back in san francisco it was like five years ago five years ago yeah five years ago <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah i was just there to study english because uh, i'm i'm I think it's really important to have uh, English in your life, you know, especially right. I'm working in business and all. Hi. <laughs> and, uh, um, so I did three years of international business and now I'm moving on mm -hmm. to uh, event organizing. Uh, internationally, I still want to do the whole, I want to see the whole world. And, uh, and yeah, now I'm helping out at uh, Human Word. I'm really, really happy to be part of the team. I'm really proud to have you part of the team. You're a wonderful spirit, like, period. Yeah. I still have to send you the shirt all the way to France, and I got you. I will, yeah. for sure. We're going to work that out sometime after the meeting. Um, so, yeah, I'm in Paris right now, and uh, it's 9 p.m. So. <laughs> Oh, wow. See? Dedication. <laughs> I want to thank you also. Um, we're going to find out what time is it for Lishi once we get around to her, but, you know, she's up next. Um, what I wanted to do was ask you uh, also, how are you doing? What's uh, what's going on, man? Tell us, like, what you've been doing lately, you know? How, how's everything going? Well, it's it's been nice. It's been nice. Uh, I had to go to Paris because I, I don't live here, usually. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's all about... I don't know what's going to come next. So, mm -hmm. I to see a couple of friends before I, you know, things move on and I have to go to the next thing and all. So, and, you know, take some stuff also with me and all. So. Right, right, but, right, right. right. I'll, I'm outside to, enjoying this. Thing. I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to do this summer because uh, I need money, uh, <laughs> you know, for next year and all for... Uh, 100%. I, yeah, for my apartment and studies and also that's my plan. <laughs> Hard, but nice, you know, nice. I know I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you are gonna do it. Yeah, you're a very persistent young lady for sure. And thank <laughs> you for helping me uh, put this together. For those who don't know, uh, Lena encouraged this idea. Also, I I had the initial idea, and she's the one that started to fill in the blanks slowly but surely. So that was really really good. Um, but what I wanted to do is uh, an advisor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you practically are my advisor. <laughs> Thank you. No, but I called you my advisor. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, one thing is um, I wanted to uh, say, uh, what what activities have you been doing to stay busy, by the way? Uh, well, I know you've been having fun doing some partying. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we definitely talked about that. Of course, of course. Like, I've been since, like, Wednesday, and we've only been partying and all, like... <laughs> Do any um um and last but not not least before we uh move on to to uh Lishi, we wanted to ask you um why are you here on Campfire Sessions? What encouraged you to be part of Campfire Sessions? Uh well uh, as we talked about we said that you know we wanted to find uh, great um, I don't know, uh, people with a um, with background and interesting um, uh, yeah, interesting background from before that would help mm -hmm. the subject that we're going to talk about right now and I think that I've been pushing forward in the face of uncertainty for, of uncertainty. for quite a while now that's like literally all my life I've been doing that all the time and so that's why I think uh, I'm here. Because uh, like when I was 17, it was my first big step. I just went across the world for like one year in San Francisco and uh, I did it. It was good. So, <laughs> and I did it all the, time, all the time, again and again and again. And uh, now, I, you know, sometimes it's, 
it's even a little bit inside. Of course, it depends on the context and all. But for this, yeah, that's why. I, Thank I you. Adapt, and I think you know maybe I can help out some people. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Your perspective may save somebody's life. You never know. Oh, uh, do any of your buddies wanna um? come out and uh, look, uh, do, do, do they want to say hello on the camera, you know, a bonjour maybe, you know, who knows? <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> right now, and uh, that's why I showed you the, you know, the, the bottom. Oh, you said, they, <laughs> you, you, said, you said they're cleaning right now? They're eating. Oh, they're eating right now. Oh, okay, well, tell them that we say hello, and we'll yeah, be back sure. visiting you in a little while, all right? Because we're going to circle back around, yeah. but we're going to continue moving forward uh, as we continue with Campfire Sessions. Thank you, Lena, for your introduction. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. We'll, we'll see you soon. Yep. Hey, everybody. We're back once again. What we're about to do is we're about to bring up Lishi right now to introduce her to the audience. So one by one, here we go. Boom. <laughs> yes, sir. Pushing forward in the face of Ad's uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Almost said adversity. Is, isn't that crazy? Uh, it's almost one and the same, if you ask me. <laughs> Thank you for the love. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for the hearts. I definitely appreciate it. It shows that we are doing something important for everybody around the world. Oh, Lishi, what's going hey. on? Hey, oh my goodness, great from Australia. Here we go. Great music has just joined. All right, we're looking good. We're doing good. Bright background. Love it, love it. Okay. Sun is shining on my side. Um, what I was wondering was... Um, Hey, um, <laughs> can you introduce to the audience who are you? Um, I'm Alicia, or Alicia as my friends call me, and I'm from the Gold Coast in Australia. And it is like 5 a.m. here. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> waking up. I haven't had any coffee yet, and, you know. So I'm <laughs> up, up at 4 a.m. to be here and be with you guys and support something really cool so yeah thank you thanks for having me. no thank you for agreeing to get up at 5 a.m in the morning that shows dedication first and foremost so i would like to definitely say thank you uh lena is saying oh my goodness right now because she and her where she's at is 9 p.m so we're dealing with some time differences here and i appreciate everybody taking the time out to uh come on board you know and speak yeah, their piece yeah. um so are you originally from Australia? Please tell everybody where you're originally from and where you're at now. Um, so, no, I'm originally from New Zealand, and Ooh. I've been in Australia for about eight years now. So I intended to come here for a year and just to have a break and, you know, live the beach life, and now I'm still here. <laughs> I you still live the beach there. life? Wow. Yeah. You're right you next know, to the beach right now? Yeah, it's probably oh. about. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, do you, do you do you want to show us the beach? Well, currently it's still pitch black outside. Um, oh, but okay. I, I live, can't see the beach um, from my place. It's about a fifteen-minute mm -hmm. walk. Oh, but, yeah, okay. It's okay. it's beautiful here. It's um it's a typical tropical place to live um a lot of people compare it to miami um oh yeah okay. it's, it's hold on they compare it to miami based on the look am i correct yeah uh, based on the look of the place so um but uh i've never been to miami before but a couple of my friends that have been there come over and they go oh it looks like miami here so it's kind okay. of a way to, to visualize what the gold coast is like Okay. That's a great comparison, by the way. And it's a good visual, too, because a lot of our audience uh, on my side is based in Florida. So oh, yeah, um, yeah. They could, it's, easily, it's easy for them to imagine. And a lot of people have seen beaches in their life, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been down to Miami. So um, what I wanted to do was continue and ask you, uh, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm good. Like, you know, I feel so lucky 
to to be in Australia. Um, there's just so much going on in the world right now. Um, you know, like with the whole COVID thing, um, things are picking up here um, and, you know, we're able to go back to work, um, which we haven't had a lot of cases here in Queensland with COVID. So um, in that way, I just feel extremely lucky. Um, there's been a lot going on on Instagram the last couple of days. Yes, um, in America, and um, uh, that has made me feel a bit sad, to be honest. Um, me too. You know, I just, as as a person, I just want to do so much to create peace in this world. Um, and you know, I'm an artist, and I try and project that message through a lot of my artwork. So, um, can we? Yeah, uh, I'm a can we see some? Music. Can we see some of your artwork? Uh, I actually went on your website. It's beautiful, by the way. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Can we see some of your artwork for the um, audience? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a couple of pieces here in the background. Just love for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. We would definitely like to see some of your art. <laughs> hey guys, this is live uh, from Australia. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> you do. Uh, what type of artwork do you do? Like pastel? Well, what is it? Uh, no, this is so. This is aerosol and oil on board over here. It's kind of like a wild cloud scene. Um, and uh, I put a, always stencil things into my work. Uh, my main thing is um, I, I stencil a bird on all my pieces. So I paint realism basically versus surrealism. So um, the bird represents the question, what sets you free, um, which can be perceived on so many levels. Um, you know, freedom of the mind, freedom of peace, freedom of choice, like whatever it is that sets you free, that bird is a reminder of that question. So um, I feel lucky that I can paint realism. So I wanted to not just paint pictures, I want to as well so yeah so um I, I like to keep informed of you know what's what's going on out there and how other people are feeling and I know there's just there's a lot going on at the moment um it is so, a lot yeah. I've it been thinking about all of y'all over there in America and I hope you're all going okay so Thank you so much, Lucy. I appreciate it. <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, we already know about your activities, so we're going to move, skip that and go to the last question. I wanted to ask you, uh, what made you decide to come aboard Campfire Sessions? <clears throat> well, um, I think what you're doing is an amazing thing. You're celebrating humans and you're putting a, a positive message out to the people um, and making a platform which allows people to speak up and um, I totally support that. I think it's a great thing to do to have some real conversation um, with real people because I know that what you're doing will attract people that are like-minded and people start circulating some good conversation and you know, Instagram is worldwide, so you can connect with anyone. I'm in Australia, you're in America, we've got Lena in France, so. Yeah, you know, we do. We're part of this. <laughs> 100%. We do have Lena in France, we have Prelo in Brooklyn, and we have Jacqueline yeah. in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is, um, this is amazing that we are able to unify on uh, this platform and I will continue to leave the platform open and push forward just like this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, thank you for your, your kind words and the beautiful introduction, uh, and the introduction to your artwork. Also feel free to leave a link, uh, to your artwork and your website for people to find your artwork. Um, same thing for anybody else who has anything going on, who's being featured, uh, on campfire sessions. Um, and what we're going to get ready to do is I'm going to get ready to bring on Jacqueline. So uh, please uh, buckle your seatbelts. Let's get ready to bring on the next person. And we'll be visiting you right back pretty soon. All right, Lishi? Yeah, cool. Peace. All right. Peace. <laughs> 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 
Well, guys, so far, so good. It seems like the circulation of people is going really well. Like I said, this is our first campfire sessions. If people don't understand what is happening, if they just joined, uh, we are hosting our first session titled um, Pushing Forward in the Face of Uncertainty Surrounding the Pandemic. But um, during the third hour, uh, which is an extended hour of campfire sessions, we will uh, be covering what is currently happening here in America and the effect that it has on the globe, you know, on people, excuse me, on people around the globe. So uh, let us continue. One, two, three. We're going to bring on the next person. Uh, excuse me. Uh, bu 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 bu. Here we go. And without further ado, let us bring on Jacqueline. Wow, you, you popped on quicker than expected. I must admit that. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I actually didn't expect you to pop one so quick. It's like usually a delay, but I guess because you're in America, it happened like faster. <laughs> but Leisha, uh, Lena and Lishi were a little bit slower to come on. But hey, yeah. please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Um, I, my name is Jacqueline Mueller, and I'm a social worker and mental health advocate in the New York City area. I'm currently in South Carolina, Merle's mm. Inlet. Oh, okay. Where, 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 where are you originally from? No, no. Jersey, New Jersey. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which part of Jersey, by the way? If, if you could let us know. Sorry, excuse me. North Jersey. So, like, Bergen County. Um, it's like an hour from the city. No, not an hour. It's like 25 minutes from the city. Manhattan. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Um... And uh, obviously, we already asked, how are you doing? You know what I'm saying? We, we know that there's a lot going on here nowadays here um, in America. Um, what activities are you doing to stay busy, though? Can you let the audience know that? Um, I'm, I'm grateful and fortunate to still having, still being able to work on my career um, okay. at this time through the pandemic. Um, so work has been yeah. pretty busy. Um, so I work traveling. with children. Yes, I'm traveling. <laughs> and I'm also blessed. Yes, I get to um, work remote. So I am in South Carolina doing my social work coordination um, down here in the sun. It's good for my mental health, you know, self-care <laughs> and everything. Um, and I, my dog, Peach, she keeps me busy. Um, so I've been visiting family and hanging out with Peach and you want to you want to show the audience peach she is being so good right now hold on ready oh yeah okay you know, wait i can just turn my camera around what am i doing yeah you can no there she is oh wow she's yeah, sleeping i changed her collar she had a blue one before and now she has a green one she looks good green oh so nice so she's just really relaxing on a nice sunny day Yes. Okay, so last but not least, before we, uh, we, we end the segment with you, or the introduction segment with you, I wanted to ask, um, what encouraged you to come aboard uh, Campfire Sessions? You encouraged me to come on to Campfire Sessions, and I thank you. And, <laughs> and I thank you for creating this network of people to, and this platform to have people put their ideas out there, but um, I'm here to meet, support, and celebrate humans and humanity in positive light, and you know, discuss and share ideas and knowledge, yes. you know, yes. um, as well as to discuss how this current pandemic is uh, impacting uh, mental health. Yep. Um, so I'm here to discuss that, and you know, we'll all push forward through. These crazy the uncertain times, yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. We will pull through. We no will doubt. definitely pull through. No doubt in that. You know what I'm saying? Human beings are stronger than what they appear to be. I think sometimes we underestimate ourselves. Right. Know? We are so resilient um, and will continue to be resilient. Resiliency is a, is a fact, a very, very prominent fact. Um, actually, I want to probably revisit that topic, but I'm going to save that for the special hour when we return back, uh, the extended hour, because that's more free free speech. I want to stick to the structure as of right now. You got it. But without further ado, <laughs> I'm so excited. Cool. we're about oh. to bring on Prelo. 
Yoshi. Bye bye. Awesome. Bye. Awesome. Great group. See you. Bye, Jackman. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Without further ado, we're about to bring on Prelo. <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. Um, here we go with my friend, business uh, 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 partner. Um, man, there's so much I can say about Prelo, but I'm going to let her introduce herself to you. Hi, Troy. Hi, everybody else. Um, How you doing? Hello. I can't see you. I can't see you yet, Prelo. <laughs> Why? No, no. For some odd reason, okay. There we go. Yes, like, beautiful. What happened here? Now you, now you on the screen, beautiful. Continue. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so, I am Prelo. I am the founder of Brooklyn Artistry and Company, which is a platform for small business owners and creators. And this is my first time being live ever, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so um without further ado obviously you heard the rundown previously but you know let them know where you're originally from so i'm from brooklyn new york born and raised here um still here um seeing everything that's going on here which is you know troublesome but not surprising to be honest so yeah Indeed, indeed. And uh, let me ask you, how are you doing? We got to always check in the people that we're bringing on. I am not good, but I'm good enough to do this show, though. So, <laughs> you know, I can hold myself for now. But to be completely honest with you, with everything that's going on, my head is all over the place, you know? You know what? To be to be honest with you, me too. And uh, I almost didn't feel like doing this. Mm. I almost canceled this. Something really terrible happened to me yesterday. Mm. Uh, really terrible. I was at one of the protests, and I'm not going to get into details, mm. but it almost brings tears to my eyes, the betrayal that happened before my eyes. Yeah, it's, it's, um, a, it's a lot. It's been a lot. I had to cancel some of my shows yesterday because of the whole situation. It's It's been heavy on a lot of people. So We're, we're going to have a third special hour for sure. Because... <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm in deep pain, but I, I, like I said, I made a promise to stick to the format that we originally set out to uh, do, and I'm going to stick to that format at all costs. Absolutely. Uh, excuse me, at all costs. Yes, of course. Uh, so what activities are you doing to stay busy? Oh, I am, I've been, since quarantine started, I've been trying to reach out, you know, have a lot of things going on with a couple of people so that we can all stay connected properly. Um, especially, you know, having to be inside or just scared to go outside. We've been having full-blown discussions. You know, you've been a part of some. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, creating <laughs> new content for Brooklyn Odyssey. And by doing that, just kind of mixing in uh, discussions together so we can kind of have the two to fall back on so I can still better the business but still be able to communicate and talk to my friends and some other people. 100%. Beautiful. I love your wording. I love the way you put that, for sure. You're welcome, Philo. Thank you for, like, because you're such a busy person, and I know you're feeling it. We're both, uh, we have a, we have empathy. Yeah. So we feel what's going on. We understand what's going on, you know, and uh, we, we're still here pushing forward in the face of uncertainty because now it's uncertain for a whole lot of reasons that we didn't expect and see coming. So um, I wanted to sit here and ask you, uh, what made you decide to come aboard Campfire Sessions? Well, I love your platform, and um, anything that I love, I support. <laughs> so, so I decided, you know, of course, this is a great platform to kind of come up and, you know, talk about the type of stuff that you want to talk about, which is pretty much a self uh, betterment and also just business betterment and brand betterment. So I think that this is the perfect way to get that out there to people across the world. I know you have a lot of connections to people everywhere, so I think that this is a great place to start for that. So that's why. It's a beautiful start. Thank you so much for your words. Like I said, everybody, we're going to be circling back around because we have uh, topics of discussion that we'll be bringing up um, throughout this uh, campfire session. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preload. We're going to bring you back on. Of course, we have an order, a system that we're working through. And we'll even open the floor for open forum from the audience based on the topics of discussion. Um, and so here we go. Much love, preload. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here we go. Boom. So, uh, 
what I really wanted to do was take the time out once again to remind people what we're doing here. So Campfire Sessions is an extension of human. Um, we decided to extend human to make it more inclusive and have people from all over the globe come together and speak about certain issues that are impacting us as a collective. Um, within that, I decided to... Um, uh, thank you very much, Brick Music. I am actually going to take the time out real quick to give a thanks to all our viewers who are here right now. Um, and and uh, and thank you for all the comments to love because for a second, um, when I reflected on what happened to me yesterday, I wanted to protest. I almost wanted to drop a tear. Uh, but like I said, we will be revealing that uh, at the end of Campfire Sessions uh, within the third hour. So... Um, to everybody who is listening, beautiful, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we have three questions that I wanted to present to the audience to allow y'all to think on them too and reflect on them. Uh, while we have the people who are in Campfire Sessions, the featured people in Campfire Sessions, uh, answer these questions. So one of the questions is, do you think that we are in the safe zone uh, concerning the pandemic? And if you want to, you can extend this to even current issues that are taking place, but please do not make it the center of what you are speaking of. Um, how how have you financially adjusted while staying at home? I know a lot of people are affected financially through through the situation, and I also want to even dig a, a little bit deeper and find out what can we do to fix that. How can people uh, help each other, and what ways of making money are out there for people if they are struggling? Uh, we're going to also save that for. Re we're also probably going to revisit that topic in the resource section too. And how has the pandemic affected your small business, or how has this affected your career? So. Um, Wonderful. Thank you, Amani, for reinforcing these questions inside the comments. So uh, we're going to go around and ask the people who are featured on Campfire Sessions to hear their opinion on these matters. So without further ado, we're getting ready to bring back up Lena. Lena, are you ready? <laughs> we'll know when she comments in the comment section. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hold on, let me actually see something too. Hey. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. I did just catch you always in the comment section. That was really cool. Um, but without further ado, what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to ask you, um, do you think that we're in the safe zone concerning the pandemic? I want to hear your opinion. Uh, well, I think it really depends on where you are, even in your own country. Uh, right. For example, in France, uh, it really depends if you're like in in the West. Everything was, I mean, okay. It was not really good, you know, but it was okay. But then in the East, it was it was crazy, and and back in Paris, it was it was really intense and. Uh, and so I've I've been lucky. I was in the comfort in the safe zone. Sorry, because uh, I left Paris to go to my mm -hmm. uh, parents' house in the west of France. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I I was among the the lucky ones, if I can say. Uh, so safe zone, yes. Uh, now uh, regarding the, the the money, well, I've been at my parents. I'm still young, you know, I'm only 22. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you said that, I'm only 22. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, we've, we've been okay. It's been a big, you know, step back. But, uh, right. but my dad has actually been working in the front lines of the pandemic uh, at the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, they they are going to be able to uh, have a little uh, bonus or something. So we're hoping on that. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. I'm hoping to be able to supply you with a job <laughs> also. Yeah. But I'm hoping, hopefully, hopefully uh, uh, here in America, I'm, I'll be able to pay you all the way in France, even though your currency is higher. But we'll figure something out once human um, <clears throat> is, fin is finished getting uh, solidified, uh, yeah. the foundation or the financial foundation of it, at least. Um, and how how has this affected for you it's a little bit different how has this affected your college education there in france because i remember you discussing me about like you having to do internships and i just recently filled out a documentation on your behalf to help you with that and i'm glad that that went yeah. through 
But um, I was just trying to. Nah, you're welcome. Of course, man. <laughs> um, I was just trying to figure out how does that look for you? How has that affected your life? Well, I'm right now I'm doing a master's degree and it's in event organizing. And uh, I don't know if I think it's the same everywhere in the world, but the event uh, field. Mm -hmm. Like it's right now it's almost dead. Like it's there's nothing going on. Same thing, uh, man. Yeah, but I've been uh, I really want to do that. I've been wanting to do that for, for a long time and i'm not just gonna stop doing events organizing just just now because i'm i really really hope that it's only temporary I, right I, I no i i know inside of, my, of me that it's gonna be temporary so, so i'm gonna continue my studies even though like uh, everyone in my family uh, told me like maybe to change to go somewhere else to see something else learn something else but that's what I want to do, you know, and, uh, and thanks to you, I also realized that I can do event organizing, but still online as like we're doing right now. And, right, uh, right. And maybe I think that before that was not what people used to do. And I think it's like, maybe it's another way. It's like event organizing 2.0. You know? <laughs> event organizing 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> event organizing just web based <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yo. I'm, so yeah, uh, hesitating but I think I'm just gonna push forward as you should to be honest with you <laughs> right 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 I love the way you keep revisiting the title <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, yes 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 I have learned a lot uh, uh, working with you also you know what I'm saying so oh. I am um, I look forward to uh, working with you further in the future, for sure. Thank you for expressing to the audience uh, your opinions on the matter that was brought up. Um, and we will definitely be back. <laughs> Once again, we'll be back within the second hour, for sure. All right, Lena. Um, see you later. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and uh, bring on Lishi. Uh, for a second, I want to always acknowledge the audience. I did re recognize that someone said, where is my shirt? Um, we did figure out that screen mirroring. When I wear the shirt on human, it looks like the words appear backwards. So I didn't want to wear the shirt and the words appear backwards. So, uh, um, But no worries if you are interested in per possibly seeing the shirt, buying the shirt, and things of that nature. There will be uh, stories posted about where you can find the, uh, the human uh, shirts or merch and uh, actually purchase things. So moving forward, um, here we are. Let us bring up Lishi. Oh, hello, by the way. Uh, I, I just saw a person who said hello and I wanted to say hi back. So, <laughs> Lishi, here we are, back once again. So um, do you uh, remember the three questions off top or should I uh, repeat them? Um, yeah, you can repeat them if you want. My <laughs> <laughs> um, going live, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all right. it's all right. Um, do you, one, I was going to ask, do you think we're in a safe zone? Um, uh, this question is really directed at uh, everything opening back up. Then, for two, yeah. I was asking, how have you financially adjusted to the situation while staying at home? And three, last but not least, how has the pandemic affected your small business or your career? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, here, uh, as I said before, um, we've I've been lucky enough to be in, in a safe place here on Queensland. We had, you know, low numbers of cases. Um, but we still had to be very cautious Um you know, when you when you're aware of what's going on around you, I think it's good to to be safe and and take action. So we formed our bubble and um and stayed safe. Um and also, you know, our family members. Like you've got to think about other people as well. You know, some people have this attitude like, oh, I'm okay. So, but it's about protecting everyone around you in these times also. Um, but uh, as for, you know, fi financially, definitely, um, you know, when you're 
when you hear that you know work's slowing down and you're not able to work um, at first, so I, I I was worried. You know, I thought, oh my gosh, because I'm I'm an artist, but I'm also a part time hairdresser, so um, helps keep me going through establishing you know myself as an artist. So um, yeah, so that. To me, it was it was strange to have to be at home, and but I'm also lucky um, with my art. Probably, it made my mind stronger creatively because I was able to sort of sit and go really um, deep into what I want to do and um, my next body of work that I'm working on currently. Um, gave me a lot of time to really think about what, you know, what avenues I want to go down and, and to, yeah, so, so much um, going on in the art scene um, to keep it fresh and exciting, you know, you're going to really think about that. So um, that helped me keep positive through this as well, um, being able to dive deeper into my artwork. Um, <laughs> what was the last question? <laughs> <laughs> the last question is how how has this? It's okay. It's all right. Um, the last question was uh, how has the the pandemic affected your small business, and how has it affected your career? <clears throat> um, so I'd say um, for me, like I said, with my artwork, it's probably I feel like um, it's. I've came out stronger in that way. I've been really working on my techniques and I've got some really cool new things that I've been working on. Um, mm -hmm. And also with the hairdressing thing, I'm so lucky, you know, no matter what goes on in the world, everyone still wants to get their hair cut, you know. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yes, it's a good creative job to be in. Um, Isn't so that kind I've of crazy? That yeah. people still want to look good during like oh, a very rough time. I think true. even myself, like I was like, wow, I had to borrow somebody's clippers for this. I was like, let yeah. me, you know, look presentable while you know on the behalf of my yeah. business despite everything going on. So, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I had a lot of people messaging me like, Are you still doing cuts on the side? I was like, no, I'm not. But um, yeah, so you know, we're just it's it's strange being back at work and you know we have so many sort of protocols to um go by you know a lot of sterilizing and sanitizing and where you're so close to people when you're working with hair um but i i really love it it's another creative form for me and it helps me you know and it, it helps it's nice to be around people and you know keep it's that beautiful. social it's activity beautiful. going so yeah so I'm, I'm lucky you know things are really busy at the moment because I'm catching up and transforming people again <laughs> making them feel good you know yes that's a beautiful job to make people feel good I mean <laughs> yeah. like it doesn't get better than that <laughs> you know it's sort of like a counsellor slash hairdresser in these times so <laughs> You know, if hairdressing and therapy was one, you'll probably definitely have you a new job. You'll probably have you a new market there. <laughs> yeah, <for sure>. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um, what I wanted to say was uh, thank you for um, coming on board and giving us uh, your uh, perspective. Uh, we appreciate it uh, once again. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring on Jacqueline <laughs> right after you right now. Yeah. Um, and so let us continue. Uh, I will be bringing you back on uh, later on in the in the in campfire sessions. I'll be bringing every back everybody back on actually uh, later on in campfire sessions. So uh, here we go. Without further ado, bye, Alicia. Until next time in campfire sessions, I will see you in a little bit. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Jacqueline, are you ready? Here we go, everybody. About to bring on Jacqueline. Mm. As we wait for her to appear, I wanted to um, say thank you for everybody for being patient. Like, I see that we have a steady number of people who have been watching this whole thing so far. And uh, I will say that I am uh, very, very pleased for those who have decided to uh, stay with us. Um, so 
Here we go, Jacqueline. Hi. Did you hear the three questions? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um, what, what what is your opinion? Do you think that we're in a safe zone? Here, uh, um, I I don't think we're in the safe zone, um, but I do think we're safer now than we were back in February. Like, there's been more epi epidemiological studies and research that's been done and shared with the public on how how to stay safe, and as well as, you know, antibody identification and testing and things like that, um, protocols. Right. Um, but I also do believe that we'll experience a second wave, probably a third one. Um, but we'll be more prepared this for the second one. And um, hopefully there won't be a third one. <laughs> but Hopefully there won't be a third one. I'm not looking forward right, to the second one. Right. But I think we'll be uh, <laughs> more prepared and the number of cases and deaths won't be as large as they are now. Hi, Nishi. Miss you. Okay. So how have you financially adjusted while staying at home? She's like, nothing really changed over here. Nothing. I have a job. <laughs> I'm 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 grateful that I still have a job, so um yeah, nothing really has changed, but like I mean I'm saving a little bit more because <laughs> I'm not, you know driving to work or you know i'm staying home so i can just go to the fridge if you know or whatever it is but nothing really has has changed and i'm grateful and lucky for that for sure yeah okay 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 that's good that's beautiful that's beautiful that is <laughs> at least you don't it, it uh you don't have as many worries so it's just an adjustment no oh, i have worries i have oh. worries but not just not financial <laughs> Well, those two, <laughs> but it's 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 not it's not a, it's not terrible. It's just nothing has changed. I okay. still pay my student loans, you know, rent and all that stuff. Student loan. Yeah. I was about to ask you, like, how much? How many? You know, that's not what this is about. I know, yeah. <laughs> how has the pandemic have, uh, affected your career, though? Um. Well, being that I work in the social service field. Yes, I know um, that has to be. Because you're not seeing the kids that you work with in person like that, are you? No, um, not at the moment. Um, well, yeah, I, I work in the field as a care management supervisor. So I have six care managers and 93 kids in my unit. Um, so I supervise my unit, um, youths and families that are covered under Medicaid, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's... So I've been really busy and it's been challenging in regards to like identifying resources, specific resources, food resources, um, PP, uh, protective gear, protect PPE, PPE gear. Yeah, PPE. You're right. Yes. Um, for families, I have in coordinating services to reduce crises and situations. You know, if, if I have a parent that has tested positive for COVID, um, and his son, who's enrolled in our care management program, lives with him. Um, mm -hmm. Not really. It's single father with his son. And not, there's not, they, the family doesn't really have that many informal supports, meaning like an aunt or uncle, you know. So thinking about how to keep him safe, the kid, um, while and like fed. And there's so many just variables in regards to... Um, Supporting the services, really. So um, I'm always on and off the phone. Um, and my job allows me to work remote. And my care managers are utilizing Microsoft Teams. So we use Microsoft Teams and video conferencing to contact the families to see how they're doing. Um, mostly like oh, okay. via phone call, about six, six contacts a month. Okay. And we're always okay. assessing for um, any signs and symptoms of COVID. Asking oh, wow. questions, say how I'm feeling, stomach ache, you know, do you have a fever? Mm -hmm. And through way, and so it went from you um, visiting them physically to everything online and managing them online and yes. things of nature. Yeah, so the, the Department of Health um, and our health home, CCF, have, and SCO, which is the organization I work for, they put policies in place to where they're allowing for 
like video conferencing with families, phone conferencing with families at this time to keep families in us uh, safe. But the workers safe at this time. But um, we also don't know. Some of the families are like, even if social distancing and you're allowed to come back into the house and you have to make the face to face contact, some of the families are like, I don't even want you in my house. Like, what? don't even come back yet. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah. So we're just going to continue on to do what we're doing, how we're doing it. And then it's up to the families. You know, it's their choice if they want us to come in face to face and check on them. Or if this has been working out, then we can just continue doing this. But I'm going to make them, I'm going to make my care managers go see the kids. Like, you need to go see the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you go don't know house. what could be happening, right? You don't have no idea what could be happening at that in time. In the house. So, Even in the house, yes, mm-hmm. at this time with the kids. You don't, because yeah. by going in the house, you also pick up, like, certain signs and clues from seeing it. You could feel the atmosphere. Right. You know, you could see uh, if there's any mistreatment, you know, with your own eyes. So, exactly. yeah, that's very, 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 very important that uh, somebody does actually go over there and check in person. Yes. You know, so that way it doesn't allow for... For uh, hidden abuse to happen, you know. So, okay. yeah, that's crazy. Unfortunately, well, actually, we'll talk about that during your segment of mental health. Uh, everybody, this is Jacqueline. We're gonna, re- like I said, everybody will be coming back up in a little while. Jacqueline, thank you for your your your, uh, your piece. I appreciate it. Thank you for your perspective. I appreciate it. Um, and now we're about to bring on Free Love. Right. Without further ado. <laughs> I always feel like saying this like it's Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> I think it's so funny, man. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> back to you. Oh, man. Here right. we go. Here we go. So, um, <laughs> hey, can I just do the old dirty bastard for you one time? It's Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um,. <laughs> I wanted to, um, <clears throat> I know you heard the questions, right? You, you, you heard the yes, questions? I, I also have them in front of me. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Great, great, yeah, great, 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 great. So um, <laughs> without further ado, you could just start rolling on <laughs> for sure. sure. <laughs> so I know that you were asking, um, do you think that we're in a safe zone? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I of course there's now. Uh, there's absolutely, there were there were absolutely going to be a time where there's going to be a second wave, but um, Jackie hit us with the third wave coming. And I think that um, now, especially with what's going on right now, there is no social distancing at all. Like everyone's legitimately coming to, you know, to prevent some things. And because they're coming together during a pandemic, there's more of a, you know, of a possibility of them spreading this virus which of course no one's going to talk about because there's more pressing issues at, at at hand but um yeah no i think it's going to be a second and a third wave and um it's just we there's a it's hard to figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna go about that and how we're gonna move through that especially now i think it's gonna prolong a lot of things yeah this is definitely gonna prolong a lot of things yes it will yes it will so let me say uh how have you financially adjusted while staying at home? So, two things, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. um, so I've saved more than I've ever saved in my entire life, to be very honest with you. Um, I think that, <laughs> yeah, I looked at my savings like, this is new, but... Um, We're out here being frugal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. so I think that um, the, the ups the upside of it, especially if you don't have a job right now or can't get a job or, you know, if you're in a field where it's hard for you to um, get a position somewhere, it's hard to have income. But if you're taking advantage of like, you know, unemployment or something like that, then this is definitely the time for you to save and keep, you know, get as much money as you can um, in those aspects. Uh, For me personally, I have multiple revenue streams and so does Brooklyn Artistry. Mm -hmm. So because of that, Baco and myself are doing well. Um, And on top of the fact that I already had savings just in case, you know, an apocalypse happens. So (laughs) this is (laughs) um, people who are not as scared of life as I am. (laughs) I think that um, it's been, I think it's been okay for me, but to relate to a couple of other people, like, you know, my family, my friends, who people who haven't had a chance to do that and are living, you know, by their means, um, before this and now, I think that now is the time um, 
that everybody is being able to save a little bit and also reap the benefits of not having to spend. So, yeah. 100%. 100%. Can you, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put you on. <clears throat> Can you uh, tell everybody, you know what I'm saying, about Brooklyn Artistry real quick? You know what I'm saying? Just for sure. Um, so, uh, what Baco does, um, my my position at Baco is to run it, of course, oversee it, and also be interpersonal with everyone who supports it. So if you need advice on things or something like that, I'm the person to come to when you need resources. So um, it's, it's always been like that or an opportunity. Uh, before, it was a person-to-person -person platform. So the opportunities would be reaching out to businesses. But of course, now that isn't a thing that you can do at the moment this year. Um, right. So now I've been coming up with new ways for people to make revenues and have a consistent revenue stream so that they can do it from home. Um, but it's it's more so for creators than anything. It's always been a visual artist platform. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to revisit what resources you have later on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we definitely yeah. do have a section for you. I can't wait for that. Uh, I just want to sit here and thank everybody who's coming in the chat, supporting each other. Uh, just be hello. Uh, title Eternity, hello. Uh, title and Eternity, hello. Uh, everybody who's coming up in the chat. Uh, we only have four more minutes with this uh, section right now. So I'm going to go ahead and say some closing remarks and we're going to open back up on the second hour. So everybody, please be ready for that. Uh, here we go. Thank you, Prelo. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Um, and we're going to continue on to the second hour. Here we go. Boop. All right. Guys, so <clears throat> y'all definitely heard that. <laughs> you know, so much going on in the world today. I wanted to thank everybody for taking their time out to just uh, tune in, to be honest with you. I mean, <sighs> one cannot exist without the other. The platform cannot exist without y'all coming to pay attention to it. And um, I, uh, and uh, your thoughts can't reach people, I guess without a platform of this nature existing, even though I know there's other platforms out there too. But I feel like because this one is brand new and there's not like any uh, any hidden agenda, uh, it's just clear like open discussion and allowing people to uh, come aboard and speak their perspective. Also, by the way, I see there's a couple of people here. Just be, if you would like to hang on into and, and relaunch with us for the second um, section in the middle, uh, excuse me, in the beginning of the second uh, hour, we will be allowing people to uh, give their opinion 100% on the three questions that were brought up. Um, for one, do you think that we are in the safe zone uh, moving forward? Uh, for two, how have you financially adjusted while staying at home? And for three, how has this pandemic affected your small business or how has it affected your career? You know what I'm saying? And I definitely would be interested in hearing uh, from most people you probably don't know of uh, Just Be, but I'll be interested in hearing from him as an artist because he's an artist, you know? And so we're definitely going to look forward to an exciting second hour. I'm going to sign off right now real quick just to take a small break, a two minute break, and we'll be jumping back on to give my phone a chance to cool down because it's been heating up and I can't charge it if it's too hot. <laughs> so uh, signing off, but everybody, remember, we are all human and we will be back for our second hour.